Nico, first look at the uh, game here today. I know it exa wasn't exactly the way the team wanted to go, but this is now game two. You see a little bit more of, uh, I guess, a fight after the first game where you're trying to learn, or get back on the ice and the competitive juices that you had on Friday. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, we're, we're learning a lot of new structure here, a lot of new guys trying to trying to learn what it's like to be a duck. And, um, you know, you can just feel it in that game got kind of disconnected. So now, you know, it's up to us to, to come back tomorrow and put together a solid 60 minutes. Uh, even for you, you're coming back into your first pro professional year, 12 games with the Gulls last season. How much are you relying on that experience uh, coming into this camp and kind of proving I'm a, I'm a leader with this group, seeing that kind of experience that maybe some of these other guys don't have? Yeah, for sure. It was huge for me to go up uh, at the end of the year. Uh, you know, I, I felt just how strong the American League is. You know, uh, all those guys are men. So, you know, this offseason, I, I took a lot of time to, to build my body up and, and, and just grow, grow stronger so that I'm ready to go for this year. So with this one game left, what's the goal for Nico Majadovic to, to get out there and prove one more time, step on the ice in that competition, and then also be ready to go for training camp that starts in just a few days? Yeah, just just play to, you know, the Ducks DNA identity. Um, you know, it's, you know, that's what they've been preaching all, all week long, um, trying to instill that in, into us so that we're, we're ready to go for main camp. So, I mean, just one more game here for, for all of us to, to really showcase that. Matt, this one kind of got away towards the end there, but when you take a look at this game as a whole, what does the coaching staff evaluate and, and see from your group? Uh, I think start start at the beginning. You know, our, our first period felt like we were a bit slow um, with the puck getting getting out of our zone. Uh, allowed San Jose to establish good forecheck pressure, and then uh, you know thought we were a bit sloppy with in the neutral zone. Certainly throughout a, a lot of it and. Uh, but you're able to escape the first period one to one. It's like okay, we're in a great place. Um, you know, the special team part uh, ends up tilting the uh, the tide for for them quite a bit. With the I think it's three three power play goals, so um, it puts us behind quite a bit. And then you know, at the end, it's you know for a, a group of guys that are are learning a lot. Uh, you know, being able to feel what it's like to be down and be able to stay with it and keep focused. Uh, and keep doing your job shift to shift to shift. I think that's what gets away from us and that's where the score goes. But yet that's his first start and game, I believe, in a North American rink. What did you see from him when he got out there? But we left him out to dry a lot. You know, like there was they, they certainly had some great shots that went in, but it's too much around the net, um, penalty kill included, uh, where you know it's you know, poor Slav has no chance. Um, I thought he presented himself as large. Uh, I thought he made a lot of great saves, and he didn't get enough help in front of him. After, after a couple of days around Cutter, what, what are your impressions, your initial impressions of him, Gauthier? Um, I, I thought Cutter, uh, first of all, good human. Okay, that's the, that's the first place that we'll start. Um, he, he loves hockey. Uh, he cares about the game. Uh, he, he cares about performing really well all the time. Um, his uh, his ability is, in my opinion, undeniable. Um, he's he's got tremendous puck skills. His shot's a huge weapon. Uh, he's got good vision and tenacity, and he's got a big frame with it. Um, you know, I thought today he he played uh, with a little bit more urgency in his skating, uh, a little bit more physical, and um, you know, it's nice to see him get rewarded with that that power play goal through the seam. So um, he's a, he's an impressive player with a, with a very promising future said this morning that he had worked really hard on putting some weight on to be a better professional. In your opinion, does he have a professional frame now at the size he's playing at? Sure. I mean, I, I bet there's, you know, a bunch of guys in the NHL that are smaller than him. And uh, um, I wouldn't say that would be, ever be something, you know, as, as the years go on, he's going to keep getting stronger. Um, that's what's going to happen as he's going to continue to build. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't think his frame would be something that holds him back. Carey and Igor had a strong shift to start the second. What did, what did you think they did well tonight? Um, I thought the start of our second period, I think it was like six minutes until we took a penalty or something like that. Uh, I thought we that was some of our best stretch of the game. And it started actually with uh, Sam placed the puck into a good spot, sort of started momentum. And then, and then those guys followed it up with the offensive zone shift that was actually started from the line in front of them. Um, you know, I, I thought that... Uh, know specifically like for Sasha's line uh, I mean Igor gets rewarded with the, the great goal late um, you know 
I'm not, you know, looking for specific bright spots at the moment. You know, it's 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 tough. Uh, but, you know, I, I think when you think about the game that Sasha played, uh, you think about the game that Igor played, um, you think about the game uh, that Kerry played. Uh, they, there was a lot of intensity in it. Uh, Kerry specifically skated real well, I thought. Um, and uh, yeah, they were able to establish a little bit of four check pressure. Uh, when the game starts getting away from you like that, uh, what's the message on the bench there? Uh, push back. That's what. That's what the message. It's push back. It's you. You keep fighting, and and you you stay disciplined. And and the what I mean is it's disciplined to like the game plan. It's like what's my job right now. And when when you get down, sometimes guys like they forget what their job is and what how to play. And you know you really need a, a collective effort uh, to be able to push back and, and get back into those games. Um, you know, and, and today that was a big lesson for us. And it's all about preparation for training camp. Again, this group ready to go for when they step on the ice with Ducks camp. What do you expect with their last go around to hop out there and, and show what they have in one last contest and get kind of into that uh, that freeway face-off rivalry against the LA Kings? Yeah, we'll be excited to have a response. That's for sure. Um, that's sort of our message after the game is sometimes, you know, these things do happen and games get away from you. Um, there's a group in there that's that's learning a lot about a lot at the moment and you know the only thing we can really focus on right now is you know what's our opportunity tomorrow which is to respond